animals that went savage. Are we safe? This is priority one. Hops. Parking duty. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, I'm not just some token bunny. You strike out, you resign. D a con artist, Fox, and a bunny cop must work together to uncover a conspiracy. And that's Disney's latest animated film called Zootopia. Actor Nate Torrance lends his voice to the flick. He joins us from L.A. this morning. Good morning. Hey, good morning. You know, I, I know you've done some animated stuff before. This is getting such good, great, actually, early buzz. Tell me about your character, yeah. Clawhauser. Yes, I, uh, I play Officer Benjamin Clawhauser, and he works for the Zootopia Police Department. He's actually the receptionist um, for, for the department, and he's the first guy that meets Judy, um, Jennifer Goodwin's character, the little bunny. He's the first guy to meet her and kind of becomes her friend in the department. Tell me about, I mean, it's obviously going to be very cute and people are going to love it, both adults and kids alike, but it's got some pretty interesting messages in it as well about, you know, ostracizing people, prejudice, that kind of thing. Yeah, you know, it, it, it was an amazing process. It actually is a four and a half year process. That's why it's so crazy and timely that it's coming out right now. I think Disney does an amazing job at... Uh, um, that's not really like the focus of the movie. It's touched on and they do it very gently. And I think anyone that watches it is going to be kind of inspired and, and, and maybe have a little change. I think it's going to be great topics to talk to your kids about. Uh, and they do it very delicately. It's, it's really well done. It's a different kind of discipline altogether to kind of be the voice and then see how that all comes together. What was it like this time to play this character and, and kind of see it all happen on film after? Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, one, it's it is it's it it it's a, it is a very different process. That's what's crazy. As an actor, you're learning to um, tell a story just with your voice. Uh, I don't know that I even fully understood that um, before I got into it. Where I, I think of how much I use my eye rolls or my hands when I'm talking or facial expressions, and you and you you have to learn a discipline to make that come across in your voice and give the animator somewhere to go with it. Um, the cool thing is though. With, with this um, large of a project, you know, they were always filming us in the booth and kind of taking some of the ideas off of our, off of um, our physical movements and things like that. Because I would imagine you, ha I mean, with the physical moves, I know there's going to be some behind-the-scenes stuff as well that we're going to get to see. But you know, your energy level would have to be so almost off the chart. And that's exactly. I I'm an extremely energetic guy. So much so that like half of my career has been people telling me to settle down. Like it's like, "Nay, that's the I know that's real for you, but it's not reading real on television." And so that's kind of my life. So to feel a little no holds bar in, in, in that realm has been like the biggest gift in the world. And and especially with Byron and Rich and and Clark and Jared, the you know, the guys uh, creatively behind it. Um, they were totally embracing that aspect of me. Like they would get in the booth with me and make me not feel stupid, you know, because that's the thing. You can get real self-conscious very quickly. Um, and uh, it was a real safe environment with that. Well, it's so great to even see, and, you know, obviously people are going to love it, but this is also something, this is a highly... Um, uh, sophisticated, I guess, if that's the right word, animation, because there's a lot more that went into this than in previous animated films. Yeah, you know, the, I mean, Disney's always been amazing at, at creating worlds. Like, I, I feel like they, they've, that's what I've heard mantra over and over mm -hmm. again, that they create a world before they create a story. And this is probably the most intricate, biggest world that they have ever created. And I say that humbly knowing what else is out there. But, but I do think that when, when viewers go to see this, it's kind of mesmerizing and it's amazing and it feels as big as our world, basically. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And a feature that's going to you know, appeal to all ages. Nate, thanks kindly for your time. Yeah. Thank you so much, Beverly.